How much did you enjoy then practice yesterday and kind of what did you take from that and take into today? Yeah, I mean, Coach, he just pushes me every day to uh, prepare me for moments like this and uh, tough SEC games. So in practice, I know it's, it's tough and I'm fighting through adversity, but he prepares me for moments like this. Yeah, Rick just got done saying that you and Igor are kind of two of his favorite targets in practice because he knows what y'all can be. I mean, what does that mean to you? I, I know it may be tough to remember mm -hmm. that in the moment, but what does that mean to you overall? No, yeah, I mean, that, that means a lot to me because um, that means he's – He's just trying to get me better, and that means he sees, you know, a lot of potential in me. He's trying to bring that out of me. So uh, that that means the world to me because uh, that means he respect he respects what I do, and uh, and I I really appreciate what he does for me. So he said the big moment for you was that second possession or third possession when you went in and tried to dunk it with one hand. Just what did that kind of feel like, and how important was that for you to kind of get in the groove of the game? No, yeah, I feel like uh, that kind of set the tone for the game. Like we're here. And uh, at the end of practice, coach was saying um, it was like 10 plays straight. He wanted me to go drive the ball and dunk it. So I kind of did that to prove to him as well. So it was a good fit. What changed for you guys? They got with a nine there in the second half. What did you guys do to kind of restore that lead and not let that get any closer? Yeah, uh, we just hungered down at the end and just came together and persevered. Uh, I mean, we. We do this all the time in practice. Uh, Coach tries to put as much pressure on us as possible. I mean, it got loud and everything, but we're prepared for the moment. What's it say about this team to be able to respond like that on the road early in the season? Yeah, I mean, it's just toughness, bottom line. It, it just shows how tough we are. How tough is Jermaine Mishrak? Oh, he's a dog. I mean, yeah, all the all the stats that don't show up on the stat sheet, that's that's what he's about, man. He's just... He, he, he sets the standard of Tennessee basketball. What does it say about Zakai, the way he responded from all those turnovers, hitting some big shots in the second half? Yeah, I mean, he's just a leader. Um, you're not going to have your best game every game, but the way he responded, I was telling him, like, we feed off of you. Like, you're the head of the snake, so we feed off of you, and he responded well. He sat down on the bench after he missed those couple of free throws and then came back, and that's when it, the, the ball started going through the rim. Just, was there anything in that huddle but before that that was said or anything along those lines that kind of sparked you? Say that one like, more time. You feel like when he was on the bench and, and there was that timeout after he missed a couple of free throws, you feel like anything was said during that time that sparked his run there in the second half? I honestly don't remember that point. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember that. Talked about your mind. How much fun is it to play with a guy like that and know what you're going to get from him every game? Yeah, I mean, he's just super consistent, and uh, the energy he brings is – it's, it's super special, and he just sets the standard for it, so it's, it's great. What did Cade give y'all tonight? Cade, I mean, similar to Jamar Meshack, but a lot of energy off the bench. Uh, he's super athletic and bouncy, so he he's long, athletic, so he, he does a lot for us.